the regime attacked all the civil society. Everyone in Bahrain was attacked. But if you go in terms of numbers or percentage, you will find that teachers are the most of them. They, they just rank the first in, in, in the list. Uh, I think this, is, this was because uh, teachers were very strong and they have their word on 2011 when they just strike for three days. And this was the killing part that they strike for three days. This is the only crime that Bahrain Teacher Society and the teachers in Bahrain went through, that they joined the strike that was asked by the trade union in Bahrain, the general trade union in Bahrain. And they did that for three days. So starting from the crackdown that was on 16th of the March 2011, till now, teachers are facing the revenge, and if I'm saying, uh, using that word, revenge, it's not my word. Uh, Dr. Sharif Besuni in the Biki report, he stated that word exactly, and he said, teachers are being targeted for just suspic suspicions of being part of the uprising of 2011. It's clearly stated in the report. And it is still going on against teachers in, so d in many different manners. Some of them will, will face, for example, salary cuts. Some of them will, will, uh, will, ha will be banned from their incentives or their promotions. Some of them will, will be transferred from school to school. Um, some of them will just be under pressure inside their school and under a threat of doing anything that they will be reported about upon them. So uh, we don't have a, a teaching or learning environment inside the schools right now. That, that, that's for sure, and that makes a lot of teachers to uh, to submit their request for early retirement. Uh, more than 500 teachers are being recorded right now mm -hmm. that they are going for early retirement just because of the the kind of repression they are that they are having inside the schools, from from the headmasters, from their colleagues, it's sometimes even from the students themselves, if they are from the other sect. 